the old Kirk and Alloway is steeped in superstition and folklore for hundreds of years. It was in 1790 that the witches danced to a tune of bagpipes, played by none other than the devil, Old Nick himself. Tam O'Shanter was a legend turned into a poem by Robert Burns. History, however, has a more sinister side. In 1563, the Scottish Witchcraft Act was passed. If found guilty, then the punishment was execution. In Isher alone, there were over 150 witch trials. Ninety-nine of them were overseen by Minister William Adair. Here's Shah's very own Witchfinder General. In here alone, there were 30 witch trials. The Witchcraft Act was eventually abolished in 1736, with the last public Scottish execution in 1727. Stories of witches and hauntings would have been embedded in Scottish folklore around the time of Robert Burns. The Kirkyard cemented the backdrop of his famous tale. Alloway Kirk was built around 1516. However, a church may have existed earlier within the grounds in the 12th century. The story of Tam O'Shanter was born out of old tales of Ayrshire and Burns' friendship with Francis Groves. But the stories of witches predate Burns. Final scenes of the poem Tam O'Shanter. Tam crosses the Brig of Doon with his horse Maggie. Warlocks and witches give chase. And with an almighty jump, grab Maggie's tail. Some say they can still see the glowing lights in the cut yard at night. Others, the haunted chatter of ghosts and witches. But it's the bagpipes, they fear. <laughs>